Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at a stampabove.com coming to you live, not live, from Menasha, Wisconsin. That's right, we are doing a pre-recording tonight because, remember from last week, I'm at the Packer game! Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I hope they won today. But I knew that it was going to be a very long day. The Packers played the Jets. It's January 16th today. Um, and I wanted to make sure that you had some Sunday night fun, right? So I am probably freezing at the game. But just know that I had a lot of fun today. <laughs> I'm just hoping for that. We have our fingers crossed. Everything went good and that the Packers won. By the time you guys see this, the game will be over. We'll know who won, who lost, and I'll probably be on my way home. I don't know. So, tonight we are going to be making um, a really cool fun fold. I have another, well, two other cards using that fun fold to share with you. Um, we are also going to be making a really cool technique card. So one of our cards is for fall, the other one is more for Christmas winter. I'm excited to show both of them to you. I wanted to give you a John report. Um, John, I got nothing. I even asked Steve, I said, Steve, what's been happening with John? He kind of sat there and he's like, yeah, I don't know, nothing. I haven't seen him, so I don't know. I hope he's okay. I'll let you know next week, right? <laughs> um, I still haven't gotten a report on my well. I told you guys that they were going to bring in the fracking truck. They hit a dry hole. They had to frack the granite with high pressure water to get the well working at our South Park property. So as of right now, I still don't have any news on it. Um, we are going to be going up north uh, probably sometime next week so we'll be able to see if we have water fingers crossed again right oh my gosh so crazy waiting for all this stuff so there's just a couple things that I want to make you aware of um, first of all make sure you give me a thumbs up that always helps me in all the analytics If you're watching later on YouTube please make sure that you subscribe to my channel you're going to find a subscribe button on your screen while my video is playing in the bottom right corner. The biggest thing going on with Stampin' Up! right now, besides all the goodness, is that we have a discount shopper promotion happening right now. Um, you can get our discount shopper kit for $99. You get to choose $155 in any product that you want to fill up your cart. There's no shipping on that. Once you do that, you then become a discount shopper on my team. And oh my goodness, that's so much fun, I can't even tell you. So, if you have any questions about that, you can find um, details, all the things that are included on my blog, which is www.astampabove.com. And if you go to the right-hand column, you're going to see $99 kit. Click on that, the join links are there, there's a bunch of... Um, details. There's a Q&A section that will tell you all the things about becoming a discount shopper. There's a whole other world available to you through me once you join my team. So you have nothing to lose. There's no strings attached. Um, I don't know why if you're going to be placing an order around $100, you wouldn't do this instead. It is a win-win. All right. Next thing up, um, I'm going to wait until I turn my camera around to show you my Joyful Flurry kit for October. I do have some of these kits still available. I'll put links um, below the video on YouTube, above the video on Facebook, so you can find the details to my kit and also the registration link. And I'm going to be starting my 12 weeks of holiday series very soon, like probably in the next few days. If you're not on my email list, please get on my email list. I'll also put links below the YouTube video and above the um, video on Facebook so you can join that. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to be sending out a series of projects. There is a card and then a 3D item. 
and they're using the same stamp sets or bundles or suites. It's really a cool way to get lots of good ideas. So I think that um, is about it for my announcements. We also have a class that is going to be using the Sweet Candy Canes bundle um, in the holiday mini catalog. You can find all that information on my blog. Prizes. So make sure you comment on the video. Just leave a comment that will enter you in a prize to win fabulous, or I'm sorry, in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. I have some iridescent rhinestones. This is my favorite little embellishment. These are going out to Chris Lane of Peoria, Arizona. I almost said Illinois, but Arizona. Chris left a comment between last week's live video and this week's live video. So she's going to have these coming her way. Congratulations, Chris. The next way to win a fabulous prize is to share my video. Now, if you're on Facebook, share it. If you're on YouTube, you can share it. Sharing it really helps me grow my business, and I so appreciate that. I have the Whimsical Woodland 3D Embossing Folder. Oh, this is a great embossing folder. This is going out to Jolene Kent of Anoka, Minnesota. Thank you for sharing my video. Thank you all, all of you that shared my video. Watch for your happy mail coming soon. And then the third way to win fabulous prizes from me is to place an order. So everybody who placed an order between last week's live and this week's live, you got put in a drawing and I have the evergreen elegance. I had to look at that twice because I'm like, I thought that said elegance and then it looked like something else. The evergreen elegance stamp set. This is going to be coming to Vicki Zwiebel of Defiance, Ohio. Vicki, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody who placed orders with me. Watch for your happy mail coming soon. All right. Um, I have envelopes ready to go. These are going to be in the mail on Monday. And now I think we're ready to turn this camera around. It's not nearly as fun doing a pre-recorded video with you or for you guys because I can't see any comments. There's no comments coming up on my screen. Dang it. <laughs> Hang tight. Oh, I need to plug my phone in. We don't want that to go dead while I'm doing my thing, right? Hang on. I'm going to flip you guys around. And I'm going to show you the um, Joyful Flurry Kit contents, talk a little bit about that, tell you about Stamp Happy Academy, and then we're going to start stamping because I'm so excited to share the things that I made for you tonight. All right, hang tight. If you get dizzy, close your eyes. We are going to flip this around. And I moved my stand recently, so you'll notice I have some washi tape here. And that's just to help me for placement because one of the videos I made was way out of the screen area. I was over here working the whole time. I definitely want to be up here, right? So first of all, I want to talk to you a little bit about Stamp Happy Academy. For anybody who doesn't know or maybe you're new to me, Stamp Happy Academy is a subscription website that I um, do with my friends Barb and Dina. And it is a monthly subscription, just like you, if you belong to a craft club or um, a, a gym, in, any type of a monthly club. Basic membership is $19.95. It includes four online classes per month. Four online classes every month for $19.95. We also have special events like the catalog kickoff. That's always included in your membership. Premium membership is $34.95, and the difference between that is it includes everything in the basic membership, but it also includes three live classes each month, along with the four online classes and the special events. So just so much stamping content on here. You guys, this um, website has over 70 online classes available to you once you join with either membership. So to find the information for this, you're going to go to, you can just type in stamphappyacademy.ning.com. And I hope you'll go check it out if nothing else. It is like a paradise for stampers. You will love it. You guys might notice that I have somewhat of a cold going on. Um, that started last week. Hang on, I'm just gonna get this set up so I can make sure I'm in my frame. Um, that started last week when I was doing my live and 
it hasn't gone away yet. It didn't get real terrible, but my voice is a little weird and I'm very nasally. So I'll tell you what I did is that, hang on, I'm trying to get my Facebook going here, is that I um, took some, it's kind of an off-brand of Sudafed. And I yesterday I took one. Today, <laughs> today I took two. And I think that was kind of a pretty big mistake. And <laughs> because my mouth is so dry, I feel like I have it stuffed with cotton. It's really quite gross. So you're going to hear me be a little nasally and a little weird. And I hope that it's just not too strange and annoying. First thing I want to let you know about is my... Joyful Flurry Kit class for the month of October. And of course, this is available indefinitely until I run out of kits. So just know that if you find it on my blog right here, online classes in the right-hand column, or just scroll down the main feed page until you find online classes and click on that. I will have these available. I always cut extras just in case. This is my current host code. If you place an order with me, Please use this code if your order is under $100. I'm sorry, if it's under $150, um, you're going to use this code. This really helps me out. This is how I get the door prizes that I give away and all kinds of other stuff. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those rewards. So this is my Joyful Flurry class. This... Um, comes with the option to order the bundle, the Joyful Flurry or the Frosted Flurry dies. This is a fantastic snowflake set. One of the things I love about snowflake sets is of course it's great for your holiday cards. They're also fantastic for New Year's cards, birthday, winter birthday cards, winter get well cards, winter thinking of you cards, even winter wedding cards. This is a beautiful, beautiful bundle to use for a whole bunch of different things. But these are the dies that come in here. There are 12 different images. And also there's 10 different stamp images in the stamp set. You have the option to add on the bundle if you don't have it. If you already have it, there's an option for you just to order the kit. Included in my kit is the beautiful iridescent. I just want to make sure. The glittered organdy ribbon. This is absolutely gorgeous. We're actually going to be using it on a card tonight. And we have the um, adhesive. I'm looking in the wrong place. The foam adhesive strips. You're going to get a half a pack of these, which probably means we're going to be doing some little shaker things in the class. I don't want to tell too many details because it's always an element of surprise. You're also going to get a half a pack of my favorite iridescent rhinestones. You're going to get a full pack of the Sparkle and Shine Sequins Assortment, which also tells you there's probably going to be some shaker going on. But look at these beauties. All these beautiful little sequins. So, so pretty. You're going to get a whole pack of these. Let me get this closed. I don't want any, any problems tonight. And this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Hang on, let me see if I can get it out. Snowflake Specialty Vellum. This is like flocked paper. So we've got the snowflakes. We've got the polka dots. And then we also have, hang on, let me see if I can find it. Iridescent. Oh my gosh. Same pattern as the flocked snowflakes. Iridescent. And then also the polka dots. Iridescent. You get a full pack of six by six snowflake specialty vellum plus you're going to get eight envelopes eight of our basic white envelopes now there are eight cards in your kit all your card stock is pre-cut you're going to be using these supplies along with some other supplies um, to make the cards in the kit you're going to be making four different designs you get to make two of each so the kit without the stamp set is $58 and that does include priority shipping with the stamp set. It is $119. Again, priority shipping, taxes included. Those prices include tax and shipping. Oh, and we're going to be using this tonight. So I need to keep this out because I have a beautiful card to share with you. Oh my gosh, you guys are just going to love it. 
Okay, I think that is all the goodies I need to tell you. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. This piercing mat is um, called a piercing mat. You can get it in my online store, which you'll find on my blog. I just wrap it with some printer weight paper and tape it on with scotch tape. And this is my stamping surface so that I don't hit the cracks on my table surface or get glue or ink all over the place. We're going to be using the Bake Basics Embossing Powders. Now, um, these this comes in a set of three. You get black, white, and clear. We're going to be using clear tonight. I have my clear in this handy-dandy little container that one of my demonstrator friends gave to me. Thank you so much, Jamie. And I'm also bringing this in to show you. This is an Embossing Editions toolkit. This is found in the Holiday Mini Catalog. It comes with this great container to be able to take this off and dump your powder back into your little jars. It comes with a brush to brush your um, little pieces off that you don't want on. It comes with ceramic reverse tweezers. So when you push them, they open. When you let go, they hold. And also an embossing buddy, which is a fabulous tool to have. We're also going to be using, oh my goodness, does this look like fall to you guys? Yeah, love fall. Next to summer, it's my favorite. I've got Cajun Craze, Cherry Cobbler, Early Espresso, Old Olive, and Crushed Curry ink, along with Versamark ink. And we're going to be using the red and green adhesive backed pearls, some blending brushes. Uh, the rectangle stitched dies. Oh, I love these dies, you guys. They're like one of my favorite. Oh, soft seedlings. Oh, how much I love this set. I can't even tell you. It's an amazing stamp set. I've got it all mounted here. I've got my die out. We're going to be using some linen thread. This die is the, the little big one that's all by itself. We're going to use that. It's a rectangle shape. Um, these are called the rectangle stitch dies. They come with 13 different rectangles that are stitched on the piece you cut and also the piece you leave behind, which is very cool. So you can use it for layers on your card with the stitching, or you can cut out windows with the stitching. Hang on, I had to get a drink. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm somewhat drowning because my nose, my nose. Okay, soft seedlings. First thing we're going to do here is I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers. Tell you what's happening here. So first of all, oh, hang on. I have a card base. This is Cherry Cobbler, five and a half by eight and a half. It's already scored at four and a quarter. We're going to use, whoops, our bone folder to burnish that edge good. Next, I'm going to bring in a vanilla layer. This layer is four by five and a quarter. That's gonna go on the inside of my card. Then I've got a um, old olive layer and also a basic white layer. Now, my old olive layer is three and three quarters by five. My basic white layer is going to be just an eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch smaller than that. No, eighth of an inch. That's going to be three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. I'm thinking, I forgot to write that down, so I'm thinking about that. <laughs> three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And let me grab my little ruler here. Sometimes eighth inches are hard, right? You can see Val was coloring on here just a little bit. Oh, I didn't even give you guys a Val report. Let's see. Um, I ha We had the kids on Wednesday. They were fabulous. We had so much fun. We baked brownies together. If you saw my Facebook story, you saw the pictures and the little videos. As she was stirring the brownies, she said it looked like cocket milk. Cocket milk, that's chocolate milk, which was so funny. Okay, 
<laughs> That's my Val update. Um, Molly was here Wednesday night too. She's excited about the skull silicone muffin pan that I bought so we can make gross pizza pockets for a little Halloween treat. And also green caramel suckers. I got those little silicone things with sticks. We're going to do that too one of these days soon. Okay, whew. These are eighth inch increments. So we've got our half, our quarter, and our three quarter. In between are the eighth inches. And then we have sixteenth in between each of one of those. So when I say seven eighths, it's two little notches below an inch. Five eighths is two little notches below three quarters of an inch. And I, I love this. You can just go on Google and um, Google one inch. And you'll find this, you can print it out, and I keep it right there, so I have it handy all the time. Okay, the other thing I have is a very vanilla envelope. I love having my envelopes match all my things, right? So the first thing I want to do, we're going we're gonna, to um, decorate the inside of our card. We can get that done right away before we go to our fantastic technique. And I am going to take... The Thinking of You from the Soft Seedlings. And I'm going to use, hang on, i got to move some stuff out of the way here. I just got too much stuff. Too many things right here. All right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go. We're going to take Cajun Craze. No, actually Cherry Cobbler. Let's do the Cherry Cobbler. I'm going to take Cherry Cobbler with the Thinking of You stamp. And... We're going to use this whirly gigs. These are called whirly gigs. You know, they look like helic or helicopters when they come down out of the sky. I am going to stamp with those before I put my sentiment in. And we're going to use early espresso, Cajun craze. I'm just going to set these all kind of in a row. Then my, um, whoops, cherry cobbler, then Cajun craze, then crushed curry, and then old olive. Oh, that's a lot of fall beautifulness, right? Here comes the early espresso, and I'm just going to stamp that right there. Now we have to clean in between all of these, right? And then we're going to do cherry cobbler, and I'm just going to kind of put that right there. Now I'm going to come in with the last one, which is going to be old olive because I want these to fit in here. So I got to kind of know what I'm spacing, right? And then I'm going to do some crushed curry. And last in the middle here is some Cajun craze. Whoa, isn't that pretty? Okay, then we're going to stamp our words and we're going to use our cherry cobbler ink for that. And this is going to say thinking of you. Ah. Oh. Isn't that just so very pretty? I love these fonts. I absolutely love them. Let me clean that stamp off. And now I'm just going to kind of move these out of the way. Well, you know what? I want to do my envelope now. So what I'm going to do to my envelope is I'm going to take my um, leaf and I'm going to stamp it. You can pick any one of these colors, but I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler. That's the color of my card day, so I just that's why I picked it. And I'm just gonna stamp that. Oh, love it. So so pretty. Get my chamois out here. I'm also going to stamp off once. See, I've got a little bit of residue on there. I just want to make sure I get all of that off. And now we're going to do this. Oh, um, let's get this inside our card. Let's do that right away. Uh, my husband has been picking pears. If you guys saw my pear post on Facebook, good Lord. Our pears are just huge and our tree is loaded this year. And the pears are just so delicious. And people are asking me if I can them. <laughs> you silly, silly stampers. No, I don't can anything. Um, I do make strawberry jam, but that's about it. But we do eat a lot of pears, so they're not going to waste. We're going to do some blending. And so I've got some blending brushes here. This is our white layer, and our white layer is the one that's three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And I am going to get this 
load it up with some crushed curry. And I always like to kind of rub it off a little bit first so it doesn't get blotchy. And we're just gonna come in here with some color, okay? Just like that. Let's do just a little bit more of that. I like that color, it's bright, it's vibrant. Now, you can take, let me grab a piece of printer paper so I just have a little bit bigger area here to work with. I am going to get all this out of here. Pretty soon, you're not getting any ink out of it anymore. Now I'm gonna go with my Cajun Craze. Here we go. And it doesn't really matter where you put this, just put it. Now I'm gonna go into my Cherry Cobbler. And I want this to be nice and vibrant. And maybe you want yours to be a little bit more pastel-y, you know? That's fine. You do you, and I'm going to do me. I like that saying, right? Everybody can do it different, and everybody's going to come up with fantastic results. Okay, now... Um, because I used reds, I'm just going to grab a new blender brush. I washed my blender brushes, so this one is just stained blue, but it's it's pretty clean. I like to wash them. And now I'm going to come in with my old olive. And I want that to be nice and vibrant, too. Okay. Okay. Maybe I want a little bit more green on here. There we go. Wow, that's pretty, right? So far, so good. All right, and I'll set these aside. I'll wash them out, let them dry, and put them right back in my drawer. I'm gonna grab a new piercing mat because I have lots of them. <laughs> and I don't, this is, this is very distracting to me, right? I don't want to work in all that mess. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to bring in our heat tool. Hang on. I gotta find mine. I'm gonna bring in my heat tool and I want to make sure this is completely dry. If it starts to curl up, turn it over, and it'll lay right back down. Okay, now you could just do this and set them aside and let them dry, right? Now I'm gonna bring in my embossing buddy. This is very, very important to use your embossing buddy. Then, where's my Versamark right here? my Versa mark. Now this is a really big stamp. So what I like to do is I like to turn it over so I can see what's going on. Get lots of good Versa mark. This is a watermark ink pad. It's great for embossing. It's great for doing watermarks. It just makes your cardstock, whatever color it is, makes it a little bit darker. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm gonna go, it's hard to see where I've been so far and I can't really see that good either. But I think if you tip it up in the light, you can see the shine. So that's what I would recommend doing. Who knows the technique that I'm doing so far. Okay, now I don't wanna run over what I've got here. So I have to kinda of be careful. And now I've got a little bit left right over here. I'll do this corner with that big leaf, whoops. <laughs> and then do it right here. And then I think that I can do one more right up there. Okay, now the moment of truth is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put some powder on it.
Now I put this embossing powder, the clear embossing powder in this big container because it's one of the colors that I use a lot. And so I usually have two jars of it in here. Okay, I think I have embossing powder on everything. I'm gonna give it a couple little flicks. And now if I want to, where'd that brush go? Here's my brush. I can come in here and brush any of the powder that's on here that shouldn't be. Now I'm gonna heat set it. Probably gonna come back in again and do a little bit more. Um, actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp my little um, helicopters. Where'd those go? My little helicopters. Make sure my stamp is clean because I can see now where my embossing powder is. Now you don't wanna touch this until you're, you get it heat set. So I'm gonna put a little whirly gig or helicopter right there. I'm gonna put another one right there. And I think I would like to get one right in here, but I just don't know if it'll fit. So I'm gonna wait on that one. I'm not gonna do it. Here comes our heat tool. I'm going to grab my reverse tweezers here so I don't burn myself and you put them on and then let them go and they'll hold on to your piece. I really like these. I've never used those before. Oh, I had to get a drink. I'll tell you that Sudafed like medication that I took, whoa. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put the embossing powder on that whirly gig, didn't I? Ah, oh, yeah, I did. Oh, well. You see it turning? As soon as it's glossy, it's done. You don't want to over heat set it because you'll burn it right off. Make sure everything is heat set. There we go. I think we're good. And do I want to do that whirly gig? I think I do. Let me do it. So I already heat set this, but I can come back in here and I can add some more powder into that one little place. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It goes a lot faster when your heat tool is all um, heated up. We're gonna do, no, oh, I think I'm good. I think we're good now. Okay, next thing next. I'm gonna close up all these ink pads I have out, except for my early espresso. And you might wanna have a baby wipe handy. This next part might get a little messy, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna bring out a baby wipe because I'll probably need one at some point for this class, right? Okay. Now, let me get this done. I'm going to take this early espresso ink pad and I'm going to drag it across my layer. Do you see what's happening? You wanna fill in all the places. You wanna make them really nice and dark. Yep, I feel my fingers getting a little dirty. <laughs> Look, it comes right off. Got that baby wipe ready to rock. Now, the next thing you're going to want is a fresh tissue, not one you've used on your nose, okay? Just want you to know. And now, this is an emboss resist technique, but it's actually called Joseph's Coat. And I don't know where that comes from. 
I have no idea. But now you're what you're doing is you're polishing the color off of the embossed leaves. And oh my gosh, this is a technique that's just so old. It's fabulous, but it's been around forever. And I'd like to know who figured this out because I don't know that I would sit there and go, oh, let's do this. Maybe I would. Okay, look at that. How pretty is that, right? All those colors come through. I love that crushed curry. Now, it looks like too, I wanna let you guys know, it looks like my Versamark ink pad could use some re-inking because it's a little dry, which makes me kind of sad, but I am going to find my Versamark re-inker and I'm gonna show you how I do that. Let's see, this is some thick stuff. So you're gonna kind of just glob it on. It's like, Kind of tricky to get out of the bottle hard, you know. I'm just making some little dots of it, dripping some little dots. And if I would have had a juicier ink pad, you wouldn't be able to see through this as much as you can. But I'll show you the original card. Now I'm going to grab just a gift card that I have, okay? And I'm going to smoosh that ink around and down into my ink pad. And now it's gonna be a little more juicy. Take this and wipe this off. I always use this to when I'm doing making gift card holders so that you can see, <laughs> right? It's my little prop, so to speak. Okay, this will be ready to rock next time. Now, we're gonna take this and we're gonna mount it on, look at, like magic, right? <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, how many of those does she have? Well, I have a lot of them. Um, it, here's my glue. Back when I was doing in-person events, I had one for each person that attended my classes. So when I say I have a lot of them, I have a lot of them. Everybody got one of these at their place. And that way it helped keep the ink off of the tables and it gave them the proper amount of cushion to be able to stamp nicely, especially with our larger photopolymer stamps because those require a little bit of cushion. Okay, here we go. Now next, uh, oh, I forgot to get, you're gonna need a vanilla scrap. And let's see if I have a little one. Here's as small as it gets. Okay, we're gonna take our sentiment that says, hello, and we're gonna stamp that in early espresso ink. A little, hello. And we're gonna, oh, we're gonna die cut this, okay? And um, I've already die cut a couple of these just in case I needed them. I forgot about that. So now we're really gonna stamp hello. <laughs> I'm gonna stamp that right in the middle. Oh, love it. And then I'm gonna take my little whirly gig and I'm gonna use probably the old olive because that goes along with my old olive um, mat that's on my card. So I'm gonna stamp that off once and we're gonna put one right there. And how about, oh, pff, did you see what I did? That's why you don't have two ink pads open at once, Kelly. I put it in the wrong color. I'm gonna do another, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do a different color. How about some, some Cajun? Just like that. Just a little something on that label. All right, here we go. We're gonna get some dimensionals. Got some dimensionals here. Well, this is probably overkill. I could have used mini dimensionals, but I'm not. Lots of dimensionals. Here we go. Where'd that linen thread go? Right here, linen thread. Oops, hang on, it just ran away. Now we got lots of linen thread out. <laughs> right? I'm gonna take this and I'm going to Add just a touch of tape to the end. Did I 
I do that or do I? Yeah, I think I do. Okay, so I'm gonna do this to do some threes. How about one more? And then we're gonna take another little piece of tape and we're gonna wrap that around the back, secure all of it down. Here we go. Okay, here comes our, oh, ah, E. I think I'm gonna put this right over here. Good grief, isn't that pretty? And then, Add this to the front of our card. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Where did our embellishments go? Oh, here they are. Let's add some of these red, they're called red and green adhesive backed pearls. So there's red, there's very pale green, silver, and gold. This was part of my bingo, and I'll show you those cards in just a second, in case you missed it. I'm just gonna go around here and add a few of these little gold pearls. And I think right there is a good place for one too. My gosh, you guys, what do you think? Isn't this pretty? Yeah, I wish my verse mark would have been a little bit juicier, but here is the one that it is juicier and you can see there's less less speckling in my leaves, but so, so pretty, right? A little bit different, smaller square right in the center. I put mine in the off, off to the side here on this one. Now, I wanted to show you my bingo cards. I forgot to share those with you from the other night. Here's another card made with the Soft Seedlings stamp set. This was from my bingo class, and I do have a couple make and take packets left for my bingo class. You'll find those again on my blog um, in the online classes, but you're gonna look for bingo, cards and bingo. But this was part of that class. Along with that, you get all the pre-cut card stock, you get some product in there too. We made this, so you'll get to make this one too. Look at how pretty that is. This is with the Aspen um, Perched in a Tree stamp set. Look at this one. This is part of that make and take packet. If you need help finding that, let me know. And then we have this. This is the Forever Friendship stamp set. Look at that. Cool, right? And here's another card with that Forever Friendship stamp set. So you have the option to order the stamp sets or the bundles with the Cards and Bingo class. You'll get five make and takes. Here's the last one, five make and takes. And I've got some additional ideas here with the soft seedlings. Let me see if I can find another one here. Here's another one that I made. I did not design this card. It was one of my team members. That's on my Facebook or my YouTube live from last week or the week before, but some really, really neat looking cards with this beautiful set. Okay, Whew. I hope you guys enjoyed that, yay. Right now I would probably be seeing a lot of hearts floating up the screen or a lot of comments coming in, but unfortunately we're not live, so darn it. Um, what else goes in here? Oh, my paintbrush. All right, let me get this stuff out of the way and we will get started on our next card. Here we go. Okay, this next card that I'm going to share with you is, uses the Frosted Flurry. And, oh my gosh, I hope you love it as much as I loved making it. So here comes the Frosted Flurry. Beautiful, beautiful snowflake stamp set with some beautiful dyes. Like I said, there's 12 different dyes in here. You have some little label dyes and lots of snowflakes. I'm going to be using, this is also the stamp set that I'm using, the bundle I'm using for my um, kit, the Snow Flurry kit this month. 
I'm going to be using Pool Party ink as well as those iridescent rhinestones. And hang on just a second. I have another color combination I made with this card that I'll share with you. And then I'll share with you where I got the idea. So there's two more cards besides the one I'm making right here that you will be able to enjoy. So let me get all these bits and pieces out. Here we go. Now, pool party. Um, hang on, I gotta find my dimensions. Uh, oh, I bet, mm, no, they're not there, hang on. They're here someplace. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to have to wing this because this has a lot of things going on. Well, first of all, we're going to be using this. Yeah, I don't see them. That's great. Um, oh, I already put them up there on my calendar where I hang all my dimensions. Hello, Kelly. I got ahead of myself and then I was trying to backtrack. All right, so <laughs> this piece is pool party and it is five and a half by nine and a quarter. We need to do some scoring on this one. You guys are gonna love this card. It's super pretty, but it's a very easy card to make. So we are first going to score at one inch. I like to go this way on my paper cutter to score at one inch. It's just easier to have it up against this board and get it nice and straight than to have it hanging way over here, right? Then we're gonna score, so one inch, two inches. Don't forget, you're gonna find, find free downloadable project sheets with all the dimensions, pictures, brief instructions, and a link back to this video on my blog when I'm done um, with this video. Then three and a half, so we've got one, two, three and a half, five, and seven and an eighth. We have one, two, three, four, five score lines here. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with that biggest panel. This is our this is our smallest one, biggest panel, and you're gonna just go back and forth like an accordion. That's what you're gonna end up with, okay? And I am going to burnish all those fold lines because I want this card to be nice and crisp on those edges. And then I'm gonna go back here and do the same thing on the other fold lines. We got mountains and valleys here. So these are mountains and these are valleys. So this is what we have so far. Now there's a whole bunch of layers and a whole bunch of beautiful stuff going on with this card. One of the things I wanted to share with you is I've got two different, I used on the card that I'm going to just show you that I've already made, I used the flocked vellum, the snowflake vellum, and on this card I'm using the polka dot. Now, you could also use the iridescent snowflakes or the dots. You can interchange these and make just as many colors of this card as you, your little heart desires because it is beautiful. Got a basic white envelope here. And then let me get all my layers. Here comes my specialty vellum. So first of all, this piece, you've got three pieces. So this big piece is two, they're all five and three eighths inch long. So two by five and three eighths. This one is one and three eighths, and this one is seven eighths, okay? Then we've got this piece is two by five and three eighths. So these are all five and three eighths inch long. I have a little scrap here. Then I have some square layers. Oh, by the way, this card is called a triple diamond step card. So we have this square is two and seven eighths square. This is two and five eighths square, and this is two and three eighths square. And then I've got this little piece, which I think I forgot to measure. This one is two and an eighth square. Okay, so one, two, three, four. 
Now we've got the white layers. We only need three white layers. This white layer is, oh, hang on a second. Two and three quarters square, two and a half square, and two and a quarter square. And again, all these dimensions will be in the project sheet, so don't sweat it. So we're gonna start putting our card together right away. And I'm gonna take my designer series paper and we are going to grab our glue. Glue is works best for this. And I like to put my little glue dots behind one of these dots so that you're not gonna see, you're not gonna see them. You're not gonna see them from the front. You're not gonna see adhesive. They're gonna be covered up by all of these. Okay. So here we go. I hear somebody downstairs in my house, but Steve's home. So I'm not sure. I don't think we're expecting anybody. What time is it? Three o'clock. Huh. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, here comes some more. This is the next layer. Remember, these are the five and three eighths inch long with the varying widths. Here comes this one. So I'm just going to go right here, and then here comes this one. There we go. Oops, <laughs> I have some glue on my fingers now. Hang on. That always makes for a lot of dropping of things that stick to your fingers when you think they're not. Okay. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that pretty? All right, now we're gonna do some stamping. So here comes my white layers. And the smallest white layer, we're not gonna stamp on that. So I put that one aside. We're gonna bring in our pool party ink and we're gonna stamp up these squares. Oh, and this two inch by five and three eighths inch layer, we're gonna stamp our sentiment on it. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. there we go. It's a season of wonder and magic. And here comes that right in the middle. Oh, so pretty. And then we're going to grab some snowflakes. And maybe another one right up here. And then I want this little tiny one like right there. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. This part is going to go right on the back of our step card. Here we go. Okay, so this is the back of our card. This is the front. And now we're going to do some stamping on these squares. I'm gonna first, whoops, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Let It Snow and I'm going to stamp that on my scrap of basic white and then I'm going to grab the smaller die and I'm going to die cut that centered on there. And I've already done that, here it is. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, look at how dirty my fingers are now, <laughs> yuck. That's a little better. Okay, now we're gonna do snowflakes. I'm gonna grab some of the other snowflakes here. I'm gonna do a snowflake here, and maybe one there. I want these to be very, very random. And how about some little ones? Then I'll come back in maybe with this one. And maybe bring this one back in here. Just kind of want this to be all filled up with pretty snowflake things happening. Oh, let's go back to this one. That looks good. Okay, now as long as we have our snowflakes all inked up and we've made a good size mess here, let's do our envelope. And this is what I wanted to do to my envelope. I'm just gonna take a bunch of different snowflakes and 
We're just gonna kind of stamp them all over just like that. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah, beautiful. Okay, I think we're done with this. Uh, now what we're gonna do, oh, here comes our, here comes our layers. So we've got one, two, and three, biggest, middle, smallest. So we're gonna take the biggest and we're gonna add that square to that panel. Okay, and then we're gonna take the next one and we're gonna add this one to that panel. And then this one is gonna get that one that I didn't stamp. And we're just gonna put that on the smallest square, just like that. This one we're gonna have a little fun with. We are going to take this particular die. Uh, no, this one. This one with the little dots on it. We're going to take that and we're going to run it through. It barely fits on here, okay? This particular square is that one I said was two and an eighth by two and an eighth. This is barely going to fit on there. You're going to run it through your embossing machine. And when we do that, it's gonna look like this. And the cool part is, is that you've got all these raised up little elements or arms of your snowflake that create such a cool look, right? This is the one that I'm gonna put on the front of this square that we did not stamp. So here comes our die cut snowflake. Oh, I love the way these kind of die I cut the snowflakes, but they leave them in place. You know what I mean? They're just so cool like that. There we go. Okay. All right, you guys, are you ready for all the magic to happen? Now what we're going to do, and I think what I'm going to do is just so that I can wiggle my cards around, glue worked fine and it held my pieces in place, but I think that I'm going to use tear and tape so that it doesn't fall apart while I'm trying to show it to you, okay? So this will be nice and strong because putting glue onto the flocked material needs a little bit of drying time. Not bad, but definitely don't want my card to fall, fall apart in front of you, right? <laughs> You're my important people. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this and fold that back down and now we're just gonna put it right in the middle like a diamond, okay? Make sure you're not going over that layer right there. And here comes the next one. So I'm folding it up again, and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put this right in here. So let's try that glue here and see what happens. So now I'm gonna come in and I'm going to line this up with my other diamond. You want to make sure that this will fold so that you don't have your point going down too far, right? See if that'll hold. Here comes our last one. And I'm just going to take my glue and add it in. Yeah, I think this is working fine with this glue. Add this one in. See how they all line up? This is perfect. I want that to pop up. What happened there? There we go. I think my stepson is here with some more grandkids. If you guys remember, we had a little boy that was camping with us this summer. His name is Aldo, and he belongs to my stepson Stephen. I think they're here. So I'm gonna. I'm getting close to wrapping this up. You guys, look at, look at how stinking cool this is, right? So. This is what the card looks like. It's so neat. It's so very easy to make. I'm going to grab that iridescent ribbon. We're going to do just a little bit more to this card. And this is, uh, it's not iridescent. It's the glittered organdy. I'm sorry. I keep calling it by the wrong name. We're going to come right in here and we're going to tie this in a knot right over here. I'm going to get this nice and snug. Let's move this down a little bit. There we go. Nice and snug so it'll stay in place good. And, oh gosh, sometimes just tying a knot is, can be so hard, right? <laughs> sometimes.
sometimes that's my most challenging part. Leave enough tail on your ribbon so you're not fighting it like I am. That's what's going on. Pull it off that roll so you got lots of room to work. I was trying to be really frugal with my ribbon and you saw how well that worked. Gosh, Kelly. Stop being such a cheapskate. No, I'm not a cheapskate. <laughs> I know me better than that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah. I'm wondering, the grandkids are here. Um, one of them is like a PGA junior champion. Um, he would be my stepson's stepson. And he is in a golf tournament tomorrow. So that's kind of cool, right? He's like a little rock star for sure. And here we go. We're going to take one of these iridescent rhinestones and I'm going to put it right in the middle. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's so pretty. And now if you want to, you can dot some more around on your other layers. Let me put, I'll put one right up here. Maybe one right over, whoops, right over here. I have a lot of these. I knew they were going to be my favorite right from the get-go. Oh, so pretty, right? Uh, we're going to bling it up or gay it up, like Courtney would say. We're going to gay it up. Look at this gorgeousness. Now, this is kind of a traditional color, right, for some snowflake cards. Let me bring in one that isn't quite as traditional. Oh, wait. What about this? Gosh, I was thinking I was all done. I think the kids downstairs are kind of throwing me off. I need to get my Zen back and not worry about them. I'm wondering if we're gonna go out for fish tonight because if we are, I have to change my Packer shirt into my old fashioned fish fry and supper club shirt. <laughs> One of my favorite shirts. Now I just put mini dimensionals on the back of there and I am going to come in and I'm gonna put this right in here. Let it snow, isn't that pretty? Here's our card. Here's the back. This is where you would sign your name. This all fits in an envelope. We've got our envelope stamped up to match. Isn't this just the stinking most cutest thing ever? Until next time, right? Until we find the next cutest thing ever. Here is Orchid Oasis. Now this is an unconventional color, right? For snowflakes, but look at how fun this is. I actually wanted to make you guys a um, polished pink one and a sweet sorbet one, but I kind of ran out of time. But look at how fun this is for another triple diamond step card. Now, this is just one design. I am going to have a whole class of Joyful Flurry cards designed. If you want to order my kit, I showed it to you at the beginning of the, um, the video, the Joyful Flurry kit. That's the bundle we're using right now. And I used the ribbon we're going to get in the kit. I used the iridescent rhinestones that you're going to get in the kit. Oh my gosh. And like I said, there's adhesive strips. I'm thinking uh, that's good for a shaker card. Yeah. So where did I get this idea from? Move over, snowflakes. We're bringing in the boughs of holly. <gasps> Look at how gorgeous this is. This came from a team swap. And my team member that made this beautiful card, her name is Anne D'Aquisto. And that's where I got this. So crazy, right? So I'm telling you, this is one of the fun things that you would be able to participate in if you joined my team, we have a team swap every month. And the swap theme for last month was Christmas cards. And this is what she sent. Isn't it so beautiful? Sets right up on your table. Sets right up on your table. Sets right up on your table. Oh my gosh. So fun, right? Ah! Yeah, so... Um, don't forget to use the host code if you place an order under $150. If you have an order around $100, please just join and become a discount shopper on my team. It is the most fun that you're ever going to have as a stamper. I'm not even kidding. You will love it. No drawbacks, no strings attached. I will never push you to sell product. That's not who I am or what I do. 
You guys always see a lot of my team members watching these live videos and saying, join Kelly's team. It's the best. It really is. It's just so much fun. So I hope you will give that some thought. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. I am always happy to answer your questions. And um, don't forget this paper. This is the Snowflake Specialty Vellum. Absolutely gorgeous. You get the iridescent with the flocked. You get a whole pack of this in the kit as well as the ribbon, a half a pack of iridescent rhinestones. You're going to get a half a pack of these adhesive strips. Shaker card. Uh -huh. And a whole pack of the uh, Sparkle and Shine sequin assortment for those shaker cards. All right, you guys, I think that is a wrap. Um, please let me know if you need anything from me. I always appreciate your orders. They are what keeps me in business. Whether you're ordering a kit or ordering through my online store, you'll find it all right there. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have about our Stamp Happy Academy. This is the most fabulous um, subscription website for stampers. And as I've heard some of our members say, it is the best gift you will ever buy yourself. Maybe a great idea for a Christmas gift. People are asking you, what do you want for Christmas? You're like, oh, I, I don't need anything. I don't need anything. Have them get you a membership to Stamp Happy Academy. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, you guys. Let's hope the Packers won today and took down the Jets. Sorry, Jet fans. I got to stay loyal to my team. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. I will see you back next Sunday, and that will be October 23rd. Thanks so much for joining me. You know how much I appreciate you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.